know those people that are there in every part of your life? Walt Whitman encapsulates it best in the statement, we were together, I forget the rest. And what role does personality play in friendship? Psychologists might tell you to investigate the Big Five personality model. But F. Scott Fitzgerald espouses that personality is an unbroken series of successful gestures. We get that. Especially when it comes to strings on a fingerboard. Millie said, by chance we met, by choice we become friends. Or more appropriately stated, friends who slay together, stay together. <laughs> Down. Welcome to Yamaha 440 Sessions. Was a time when the light that you were shining got me oh, Now the time has come and gone Since then I've been showing it up I get home alone I bear my soul but it would go somewhere I'm so Completely out of my control How I did it down deep Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. So how often uh, do the two of you do this? Just like hang out at home and play? Not infrequently. I mean, it's it's not something we ever plan for, but I feel like it just kind of happens naturally in these little windows where we just like get lost and you know it's like oh I'm just gonna try this thing on guitar really quick to write it down. Then it's like suddenly we're both jamming. Like last night that happened. N no zero intention. I see it because we're both in like doing music things. I f see it as like a respite or like a safe space just to like do things that don't have the intention of being commodified or like, like not to say that there's anything wrong with that because that's, it's great that we are able to like do what we do and make art and stuff. But I think for me, like having an opportunity to make, you know, art that doesn't have any pressure is also really important. And like, I feel like we... It's like a spot you can make mistakes and it's fine. You can just take risks and if it doesn't work, you just try something else. Yeah. So the safe space, it sounds like not only a wonderful place to make music, but also to have a relationship. Oh, Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a well, Mick also does all of the graphic design elements of, yeah. of the project that I work on, too, and his own, the bare minimum. So sick. But, like, it's... We've been pretty, like, s deliberate with how we inter uh, interweave the relationship and and, like, the business side of things, just because like I have been in relationships with people I've played with and stuff like that before. And, and it's like, it can be awesome, but it can also be tricky. And like, I, yeah, I think we've both been in positions like that before. Oh yeah, possibly. we both go into it with no ego, really. And then, totally. you know, step on anyone's toes, doesn't matter. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, it's just a nice, nice situation. <laughs> Sounds a bit like home is like R and D for both of your projects. Like that's where this it happens here. Oh yeah. Totally. Yeah, absolutely. I've never been in such a creative relationship. It feels awesome because like I think it, it it does nothing but enrich like the time spent together and it's like really quality time and you're getting excited. And I think like career stuff and music industry stuff, it can be so soul sucking in some I mean like Everybody knows. Everybody yes. knows yes. it. But like, if you're coming at it from this place of like excitement with another person, like you can reclaim it, even if it's like really weighing on you. So there's the power of that is, 
is exceptional. And I, yeah, I feel, I mean, I feel lucky too. Yeah, <laughs> it's like uh, when art becomes work and it becomes art again. Yeah. You know, it's that going back to the art part of it, which yeah. is the fun part. Yeah. And a recalibrating of, of where priorities and where the love lives. So that's, it's been awesome. Feels very exciting. I've become more confident with my guitar playing in the last years that we've been playing together. And I think the safe space thing has also provided an opportunity for me to ask questions. I, I'm very much, very much a self-taught guitar player. Yes, I wish I had like done like the lessons and stuff to have a bit more of a foundation, but also having started playing in the industry so early, it's like you almost don't want to let on that you don't know something a lot of the time. So it's hard to ask questions. You don't want to seem like an amateur, right? In like a, in like a professional situation. So like to have this kind of thing where like, you know, I trust you, you trust me. We're like not trying to show off or anything. I can just be like, how did you do that thing? And like, you can, exp you're really good at explaining. You're really good at teaching. I don't know, you've just showed me some tips and hints where I'm just like, it's demystifying a lot of the guitar things that held me back previously, and I think I'm growing because of it, so that's a huge... I think I learned guitar from about.com. <laughs> <laughs> <The internet one. laughs> uh, Sick. So, Sky, you have, speaking of uh, new guitars, um, you have a sweet acoustic in your hand. Yeah, I do. I have been in the market for a new acoustic for a long time, but what? But what can I find that would that would uh, fulfill? I think you gave me this to try out for for the Tori Amos show. That was the first one because remember we were like this like the my old guitar is not going to cut it for this kind of a big show and it was like a big moment and I was like I need a better like pick up everything like that and this was the first time was was playing like opening for her and it just like filled the room and it's so beefy and like intuitive and like like checks all my boxes and just like even being able to have like the blend like the mic pickup blend on here is like fantastic just like just the control and like the the trust that I have with it and just like even like being able to put a double A battery in there whereas before I'd have to like this is it's a beast and like I wouldn't play anything else at this point, I think, because I really beat up acoustics and like this holds its own. Jay and I are, uh, liken our guitars to people and Mick likens his guitars to cars. Uh, yeah. I used to be really, really into cars. <laughs>
<laughs> frequencies. Frequencies. So, what are we doing here today? What's going on? We're playing Canal Days Woo! in Fort Colburn. Yeah. That was soundtrack. It was great. Yeah, easy peasy. You can hear the air being filled by all of the the vibes. It's it's nice to be here. Yeah. Schlangen, our Yamahas today, which is very exciting. It so, is very exciting. So Sky, you've been playing that one for a while, but Jay, this yeah. is like a, this is brand new for you. It is, but the amount I've played it since I got it a week and a half ago could account for months, I would say, of gigs. <laughs> so it's fair to say that it, it, you like it a little bit. I have connected with it for sure. I find that just the the size of everything 
feels familiar to my hand, so that's super helpful. And, I mean, when you gave it to me, the action was perfect. So it's set up nice already, like right out of the box. I'm, I'm really connecting with it. I'm liking it a lot. Oh, the sound is awesome. There's a lot of range and a lot of potential. You could really make it sound like any bass that you wanted to, especially with the, like I love the three dials on it. And I have been playing around with my preamp and an MPEG preamp. And I just, I, f I feel like you could literally play any genre with this because it will just match whatever you're going for. It's sick. I'm loving it. And was there any adjustment required to have it fit in the Sky Wallace band? No, not at all. Like zero. Like zero. <laughs> yeah, it was so easy. We jammed once and it was it was yep. dead on. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Perfect. So Sky, you're rocking the, uh, the root beer Pacifica. Today. Yeah, I like, I like the root beer Pacifica. I like saying the root beer part. Yeah, yeah, this is my baby. It's like, it's, it's embedded in like, you know, there's a, there's a, picture of me playing it that's me riding a leopard and that's on all the merch you know like there, a guy actually has it tattooed on him so like this thing is like <laughs> it's it's the attached. sky brand yeah how does that feel feels cool i mean it feels weird but like feels cool i don't know like that's a pretty specific experience to uh, have that i never I would, thought i would i would think so i wonder yeah. how many people in the world have had that experience of, of your face being tattooed on yeah. someone uh, yeah it's very bonkers. It's not just like a like the band tattoo, right? It's like literally your face. So I think that's a so are different. So are you extra nice to this person? Oh. So that, so that there's no tattoo regret later in life? Yeah, I would have to be for sure. But also, if you have the tattoo on you, like you probably should get free guest list every mm -hmm. time, right? Like that should be uh, a requisite, I think. Upon discovery, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so so it's the root beer today, but you mm -hmm. also have the the Mike Stern. I do, as well. which I love, and I've been actually touring with for the last couple months, like exclusively. But I I just felt pulled to this one more recently again, and also really dig like how light it is, how you can throw it around, like it does really like I don't know, it's just beefy without the heft, like physical heft. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, I think it is definitely something less tangible that, that I feel from both of them, like just like a personality kind of thing that I'm sure has stuff to do with like the sounds and frequencies that I'm not as uh, versed in. But like, I mean, I generally go with my gut as to where I'm pulled. Let's yeah. do a character profile <laughs> of the root beer Pacifica. How would you describe this character? Um, likes a good red wine. Ooh. Um, will like, talk your ear off about like really cool things but when there's nothing you know productive to be said won't say anything at all and lifts the weight out of any situation really like uh like makes you feel at home wherever you are i would like to meet this root beer pacifica <laughs> yeah should i do a voice <laughs> okay and, Hi, I'm <laughs> and, and the personality profile of the mike stern oh uh, i feel like it's like it has like a scrappiness that i really like mm. it's like you know it's here to be seen and heard and uh uh it doesn't shy away from uh from a risk or a good time, yeah. It's it's your party bud. Oh, that's that's how I've been feeling. Do they like each other? Yeah, <laughs> like it's kind of awkward. How much? I don't I don't see them together, personally, Unless. very often. But yeah. maybe they text a lot. They probably text mm. a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They get together. They get together and etc. Yeah, I kind of feel like they're like a deadly player like they the thing that they do they do really well but nobody knows it because they don't talk about themselves so you kind of have to like bring it out of them and then when you find out you're like oh my god i had no idea you had that in you so i feel like that's the personality which is kind of a vibe i hope to cultivate for myself but i i like to talk about myself too much <laughs> <laughs> to have that vibe it's not you do not talk about yourself enough i like to is the thing <laughs> Like this bass doesn't like to, you know. It's a, right. it's a coaxing. Mm. Coax me. Coax. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Uh, I mean, I think seeing, especially where the social media and everything is going, like they're they're showcasing artists who, like, people need to see more of. Like, there's more. There's a lot of like gender parity and like lots of like 
diversity as far as representation goes. And that's, I think, the most important thing for like an equitable future is like seeing lots of different types of people playing guitars and not feeling like it's, oh, I'm not this kind of person, so I don't belong in these spaces. I think that's super amazing. Uh, and then just like, like two easy ones uh, to follow that up is like the gear is amazing. Yep. Like I'm also using the, the Yamaha amp head there and I am just like obsessed with it. And, um, and the, you know, the people are great to work with. <laughs> is Yammy a thing that people call their Yamahas lovingly? <laughs> Because I think that's really cute. <laughs> like, I love my yammy. I'm with it. Okay. Yeah. I love my I yammy. I love my yammy. <laughs> the yammy loves you too. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. So, uh, who's stoked to be here right now? Yeah, I feel that. There's an energy, there's a vibe. Um, if it's okay with y'all, we're gonna try out a few new songs. Uh, let's go. Chris.